I've been messing around with various Planeswalker and Control decks since War of the Spark came out. And I've been having a lot of fun with a Narset blue-white deck that uses emergency powers. So I'm going to go over the deck tech real quick with you. Let's start off with a creature package. Um, um, yep, no creatures. <laughs> All right, let's really start this deck tech off proper. Let's move on to instants and sorceries. We got... I've been playing this deck in best of one. I probably should work up the best of three list or just go with the proper and serious best of three list. Uh, but we have three ops, which is one blue mana for an instant. Scry one, draw a card. To revitalize, try to um, deal off the early aggression in best of one, which is one in a white for an instant. You gain three life and draw a card. Two Dovin's Veto to help fight in the control matchups, which there are plenty. Esper Control, specifically, which is one in the white. For the spell can't be countered. Counter target non-creature spell. We got a three of Absorb, which is a white and two blue for an instant to counter target spell. You gain three life. One, settle the wreckage. Two, wrath away your opponent's bolt. Mono white deck when they're attacking for re lethal. Three of Cleansing Nova. Apparently the image to, isn't loading on MTGO for my account, which is three and two white for a sorcery. Dist either destroy all creatures or destroy all artifacts and enchantments. And we got a one of Time Warp, which is one, two white and a blue to return target creature you control to its owner's hand. And destroy all creatures. We also have two mass manipulations. I needed a card to help deal with. Ironically, Liliana was the biggest one I was running into problems where I just couldn't pressure Liliana enough or hit the right cards to take her out. So I'm like, if I can't stop my opponent from ultimating her, I'll let them do all the work and then I'll steal it and ultimate it. Has happened a couple of times. Does get some salty ropes, which is kind of nice. And the main card of the deck that I that I wanted to pair with Narset is Emergency Powers. For a low, low cost of five, a white and a blue, you get a wheel effect. Each player shuffles all their hand and graveyard into their library, then draws seven cards. You XL Emergency Powers. Typically, you want to do this on your opponent's draw step when... You have a Narset in play. Sometimes you have to do it on your main phase just to try to hit a Teferi or something to try to stave off dying. Moving on to our other spells. We got a two of Dawn of Hope. Which once you've stalled out the game long enough and have a million life or a million mana, this can close out the game pretty quickly. A one of Prison Realm to have a cheap Enchantment removal for planeswalkers and creatures that have become problematic. A four of of the namesake card, Narset, that is a one and two blue planeswalker that each opponent cannot draw more than one card in a turn. And has the wonderful ability of minus two, look at the top four cards of your library, reveal a non-creature, non-land card from it, and put it in your hand, put the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. This is absolutely bonkers. It does the same effect as a flip search for Iskanta. Digs good, and it's a combo piece. It's a win-win. We got a three of Dovin's Acuity, which is a one in white and a blue. When it enters the battlefield, you gain two life and draw a card. Can help draw you back from the brink after you've taken a beating from Mono Red. Which is a horrible matchup, by the way. I do not recommend this deck in best of one. The, if you do hit some of the slower decks, it's actually pretty good versus the base Esper Control deck. But if you actually hit Mono Red, it's almost a buy for them, sadly. 
But you get to draw cards, pick it back up when you play your ops and your revitalizes. Occasionally it can steal you a game or two, but for the most part, it's just a stall effect to keep you going. We got a two of Ixalan's Binding, which is great for your opponents who are just trying to win with a single Teferi or other ways to get you out of the game. It's it's a catch-all removal spell in white and something that's needed for the deck. We got a three of Teferi Time Raveler, or a little T. Um, each opponent can only cast spells at a time they can cast a sorcery. Which is huge in the control mirror, because it means they can't counter your spells. If you get a Teferi and a Narset down, and you're looking to cast emergency powers on their draw step after they've drawn their card, it doesn't matter what they've drawn, they're going to be empty-handed after that phase. Also has the ability to plus one, and let you cast sorcery spells as though they had flash. Pretty fun for casting a Wrath on their turn, especially when they play around Settle the Wreckage, but they don't play around <laughs> Cleansing Nova. The minus three can um, be super relevant as well. Return target artifact creature or enchantment to its owner's hand and draw a card. Buy a little bit of time. Bounce a combo piece. Bounce an enchantment removal of your opponents to be able to get back one of your pieces. Super important. And we got a one of Big T to Fairy Hero of Dominary himself. A three, a white, and a blue. If you don't know what he does, you haven't been playing standard in the last year and a half. He has a plus one, draw a card. At the beginning, next up, end step, untap two lands. So effectively, he only costs three mana when he comes down and can protect himself with counter magic after he comes down. He has a minus three, put target non-land permanent on its owner's library, third from the top. And it has an emblem, minus eight, which I guess is another win con if it comes to it. You get an emblem whenever you draw a card, XL, target permanent opponent controls. I guess if you do get the emblem off and somehow cast emergency powers, you get to immediately XL seven permanents of your opponents. It's never really came up, but it's an option to help try to win you the game. All right, let's go to the land package. Lands were running 25. I was not privy to how good an interplanar beacon is. If you do build this list, I do recommend swapping out probably the guild gates for it. But currently, this list had when I ran it through the when I ran it through some games and did some recording. Four Azurius guild gates. Four glacial fortress. Four hollowed fountain. Some islands, and some plains. To round it out. Like I said, Interplanar Beacon in the Black Red deck I've been playing has been super huge. I do recommend going with those over the Guild Gates, probably. Well, that's the deck. I'm going to be uploading some gameplay videos as well. The games I played were really good. The games I played after, I just, I just felt like a lead balloon. It was just mono red, mono red, mono red, mono red, and it was just done. I don't know if there's a way to sure this deck up versus mono red. If you do give me a try, let me know in the comment section what you would change. At any rate, let's get on to the gameplay. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing. You can follow me on Twitter at GeekLukeG. This is Couch Troll Brewing.